back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos your support i really appreciate you much but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe join our family and when you subscribe click that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so dear friends today we are back again with online dating tips and if you know yourself that you are online dating sites or online dating apps searching for love searching for the one searching for the mark of your dreams then sit down with your popcorn or a glass of water and watch this video till the end because by the end of this video you are going to learn a lot of things about online dating so dear friends in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the reasons to why a white man will show much interest towards a black woman tell her that he likes her so much make this black woman fall in love with him <laughs> in fact make her daydream <laughs> You know you'll be like i found the one you start imagining of how your life will be with him how you're going to travel when you see the airport you're like oh my god very soon i'll be joining my boyfriend <laughs> that you're chatting to so that kind of daydreaming so this white man will make you daydream and then afterwards he will either block you ignore you or disappear completely why is that what is the problem so in today's video i'm going to be giving you those reasons to why and i'm also going to be giving you a solution to overcome this challenge because i know it's not a good thing you chat with a guy you fall in love with him because he tells you he likes you everything goes very well and then disappear without even fighting so it makes a woman feel very bad feel unlucky you start doubting yourself maybe i'm not beautiful enough and it makes you feel like giving up completely about online dating or searching for a white man for marriage or for a relationship so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video <laughs> reason number one to why a white man will chat with a black woman show much interest towards her and make this lady fall in love with him and then afterwards disappear or ignore her is lack of plan so you find this white man joined online dating sites without any plan maybe this man joined online dating site because he was Forward, or because he just wants to pass time and while he is there he comes across your profile yes you are a very beautiful lady your photos are very amazing <laughs> so this man decides to play games with you because you are beautiful so he just want to chat with a beautiful lady and then when time passes you expect this white man to start talking serious things a way forward what next yes you like me so how are you going to meet so you expect such kind of talking from this man but because he did not have any plan you are going to be too serious for him <laughs> He was there to play games to pass time he did not have any serious plan so when you become very serious for him he will either block you ignore you or just disappear completely so my advice to you beautiful ladies chat with men who have plans you shouldn't waste much time i have said maximum three months before you guys know how you are going to meet don't chat with a man for a very long period of time before you start hearing serious talking he should talk with you seriously after a month of chatting start telling you the next plan and a man who have a plan he is going to tell you the next step yes i like you so much and i think we should plan on how we are going to meet what do you think do you want to come and visit me or you prefer i come and visit you what is more comfortable for you that is how a serious man a man who joined online dating sites 
having a plan will talk to you but those who don't have any plan <laughs> some of them will tell you no i am very busy with my work i don't have time to date someone or some of them will tell you no you know africa is very far a lot of complications when it comes to visa process i can't handle that so why are you chatting to a black woman for god's sake why why are you on online dating apps whereby you don't plan to see this lady you don't have any plan why are you wasting other people's time why <laughs> it is very very bad so dear beautiful ladies chat with men who joined online dating apps with a plan he knows that i join online dating site if i find my future wife immediately the next plan will be this that's it guys for this one <laughs> reason number two to why a white man will chat with a black woman show much interest towards her and then after some time block her or disappear on her is your expectations as a black woman you know in africa i am a black woman so i'm going to talk with examples so in africa there is a way we think when someone says a financially stable man what comes into our mind is big cars a man should have his own house <laughs> a man should be a very big businessman you know something like that comes into your mind as a black woman but when it comes to europe the reality is very very different guys how life is here so you find that you are chatting with a man this man is very serious he's a very serious man searching for a wife and in fact guys he likes you but because of your expectations as a black woman maybe this man that you're chatting to his age starts from 25 maybe to 35 years old then you expect this man to have a house of his own you expect this man to have a very good good job you expect this man to have a very big car <laughs> because that's how we expect as black women <laughs> but that's not how it is guys because if this guy his age starts from 25 to 35 it means that this man is starting his life he is hustling to make his life better he doesn't have all those things that you are thinking very few have got those things i told you guys maybe if this guy is a rich kid but a white man who is 25 to 35 years old he will not have all those things he is just starting his life so when you start asking this man do you have your own house this man is going to block you he will block you or he will just disappear because you are too much for him he's going to think he won't be able to make you happy because what you are asking or what you expect for him to have he doesn't have those things so you guys should know that if you are chatting to a white man his age is 25 to 35 you know that this young man is just starting his life is hustling to make his life better so you guys should know that and i don't know why you should look so much into if a man has got a house or has got a very big car or he's very very successful because you have your two hands you have legs you can work together with this man to make the life of the two of you be better so that one can make a man disappear on you due to your expectations another example maybe you are chatting to a white man his age let's say it starts from 45 maybe to 60 years and this man has just finished his divorce process <laughs> So his first marriage was a failure he's starting all over again don't expect a man who has just finished his divorce process to have everything that you expect have his own house have 
because even if this man was very very successful when a man divorces when a man divorces he takes like five step backwards if he had a house with his ex it means that that house they are going to sell it and maybe take half half or if they had kids kids are going to stay in that house so this man will have to leave the house they had with the ex-wife for the kids and go start all over again this man remember he is not young so he cannot take a loan and buy a house <laughs> <laughs> no company is going to give him a loan because he's old <laughs> so this man is going to stay in a rent apartment he's going to start his life all over again so if you bring your talking of having a big car of having a house of his own of having a very big business <laughs> this man will just run away from you <laughs> <laughs> we run away from you will disappear or you just ignore you and continue searching for a woman who will understand him so what I am advising you on this I'm trying to you know tell you the reality of how things are so that when you chat with a man try to understand first what kind of the man you are chatting to before you start telling him your expectations because some ladies are way forward you know they are very open they will tell you straight in your face that i expect a man to have one two three four which is good i'm not telling you it's bad because everyone has got his or her own expectations but you guys should make sure that before you put your expectations very very understand the man that you are chatting to that way guys it will help you not tell this guy your expectations but by how things are going if this man tells me that he just finished the divorce thing it means that he is starting all over again so i shouldn't expect so much from him it means that we are going to build our future together but when things turns out differently that this man is financially stable he has got everything even after a divorce that's okay but you never told this guy that your expectation is one two three and also if you're chatting with a white man his age starting from 25 to 35 you should remember that Bella said this age that is when this man is starting to build his future so we are going to build our future together or you will say that no I don't want a man who is just starting his future I want a man who have everything already then that's you those are your choices but you should understand this situation because if you continue telling men your expectations before knowing them very well they will always run away from you they will disappear or block you or just ignore you because <laughs> they can't handle you <laughs> I've told you this because I know a girl story time <laughs> so this girl was chatting to a guy on online dating sites everything was going very very well and then this girl asked the guy what kind of business are you doing or what kind of job do you do so this guy told the girl that I do poultry farming that's my business and then the girl asked the guy that do you live where you're doing this poultry farming <laughs> the guy told her yes that's where i live and if things goes well we are going to live together here then the girl was like no maybe if you change that kind of business because i don't like chicken all around the house <laughs> smelling chicken chicken feces no 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 that's not the kind of life i want so if you are ready to change the kind of business and do something else then that will be okay what happened she got a block <laughs> so that's what you get when you start telling the guy your expectations if you think that it's not the life you want just leave the guy alone be the one to run <laughs> or if they block you then don't complain because that's the reason guys and this girl maybe she was thinking 
of the poultry farming in Africa. It's way, way different of how things are done here. Very, very different. There is another African girl that I know who was dating a white man and then one day she was saying that no this man I just want to leave him because I came to discover that there in Europe he does rice farming <laughs> he's just a rice farmer <laughs> meaning she doesn't want a man who does rice farming putting a man very very low I felt sorry for a lady because the man that he was trying to talk about, that man in Europe is a rich man, guys. A very, very rich man. But because the girl is in Africa, she has got her own expectations. The way she sees maybe rice farmers in Africa started comparing this man that is doing rice farming in Europe. <laughs> thinking maybe he is poor so you lose a man just like that and start dating losers <laughs> so you guys should be very very careful should try to you know do some research to know how life is in other countries or the country that the man you're chatting to you know <laughs> it will help you very very much <laughs> Reason number three to why a white man will show much interest towards this black lady and then block her, disappear on her, or ignore her. When she calls, he does not pick, or when she sends message, no response. <laughs> why is a complicated life of a black woman? You find maybe this lady has got a very, very complicated lifestyle. I'm an African, I grew up in Africa, I know life sometimes can be very, very tough. Sometimes you find yourself with no job or you have a job that pays you very, very little that you can't afford to eat twice a day. I know you can find yourself in such kind of a situation sometimes, but always remember it is not permanent. So you find this lady, maybe I take an example, she is a single mother due to her past relationship and she is in a very very big fight with her ex the father of the kid also this girl does not have a job the same girl doesn't have a passport but she's on online dating sites searching for love searching for a white man on the other side, we have another lady. She's a single mom. She doesn't have any problems with the ex, the father of the kid. She has got a job, even if she's paid low. She has got a passport. So who do you think this white man will choose to marry? They are both beautiful ladies, remember? <laughs> He will choose the one that is less complicated, the one that has got a passport, the one that has got a job, even if it is paid law, the same girl that doesn't have any problems with the ex because she is less complicated. White men don't start relationships with ladies who have complicated lifestyle. They don't want complicated things. And another thing you should remember yourself if you're on online dating apps is that these white men are not chatting with only you. He has got other three ladies, four ladies that he is going to choose from. So if your life is very complicated, my dear, this man will ignore you or will disappear on you or he will block you and concentrate on the girl that is less complicated. I always tell you the truth, that is how things are. So, you who think that maybe your life is complicated right now, it's not time to give up. What I am advising you, I told you the situation that you are in right now is not permanent. Put yourself together, find something to do, solve your problems, <laughs> make sure that your life is less complicated so that you can find a man of your dream because yes a guy can like you so much 
but if you're in such kind of complications this guy is gonna be thinking marrying a girl who has got a complicated life is almost impossible for him so he will leave you and focus on a lady that has got less complicated lifestyle so work on yourself if you know you are jobless please try to find a job you can be paid low but it makes a difference that is my advice on this so if you know you are in that situation and men have been ignoring you after showing much interest towards you you know that that's the reason yes guys <laughs> reason number four to why a white man will show much interest towards a black lady and then block her this situation is a bit different because it's not exactly on online dating apps but some ladies have been writing to me that they went through this situation so there are some ladies like i have always said who go around to ask people to connect them to white men so you approach a lady that is in europe or there is a page maybe you saw on facebook and this page is saying that they are connecting black ladies to white men but you need to pay so you go ahead and pay after paying they connect you to a white man and then you start chatting with this white man after some time the guy disappear completely <laughs> he doesn't write you back then you'll be like but he was showing me a lot of interest towards me he was telling me that he likes me very much what happened why did he disappear dear sister you don't have any problem you are very very beautiful in fact but the truth is those people bring fake men to chat with you because they took your money so <laughs> They want to give you an evidence that yes, I gave you a man, maybe this man did not like you, but that's not the truth. They are scamming you. They scam your money. <laughs> the problem is trusting people just like that. Give them your money. It's not a dating site whereby you know it's legal, it's a dating site. They have their own policies. No, it's not someone that you know that knows your story no just a random stranger takes your money and tells you to connect you to a white man he is or she is going to be stealing your money connect you to fake men and in the end everything will end there because recently there is a girl who was about to get scammed <laughs> by these online dating apps whereby whereby she joined a dating app and she started getting a lot of messages from different men but they told her in order for everything to continue she should pay but when i went and researched about that dating app what i got is that dating app puts fake profile brings fake men to write to ladies so that they can attract them to pay for that dating site yes guys be very very careful before you join a dating site research about it how are other people talking about that dating site please my dear beautiful ladies otherwise you will join these fake dating sites you will give money to these people to connect you to white men they will just bring fake men to play with your mind and you will think that you have a problem that is why men are disappearing but the truth is it is only fake 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 that, and that is why last time i was giving you the reviews of the dating sites that i shared so research about that by doing that you're going to overcome that challenge of these fake men who writes to you after you have paid to be connected to a white man or after you have paid a certain dating site and then comes fake people in the end you won't get anyone so you will overcome that reason number five to why a white man will show much interest towards a black lady and then after block her 
I've talked of this but I'm going to repeat it again so that you guys can understand more and more about this don't fall in this trap you join online dating app you start chatting with a guy right now is January and then the guy tells you I'm coming February to meet you I have the ticket already be wise guys if this white man has got a ticket already you are not his first plan his first plan or his main plan of going to Africa was maybe do tourism so you are not the main goal he is just going to use you so how to overcome this don't give the goodies don't see this man because you have been chatting January he comes February you don't know each other that much get to know this man get to know if this man really had a plan when he joined this online dating app because you guys come to think about it do you know how many white men dream to visit Africa as a continent they have saved for years to be able to come to Africa to enjoy Africa we know Africa is a beautiful continent <laughs> we have got a lot of tourist attractions so his dream is to come to Africa but meanwhile stay with a black queen but he doesn't have all that serious plan with this black queen not at all so for you not to be played because you know life sometimes can be very strange <laughs> yes guys this guy might have his own ticket and maybe something comes into his mind that I want to go to Africa maybe I should take this chance of join online dating apps I can find an African lady and things can be good instead of paying two tickets to go to Africa to meet this lady after I had left Africa it's better to hit two birds by one stone you know <laughs> so he comes and everything goes well you don't give him the goodies you listen to him his plans and everything because if he had a plan then he will tell you yes I was online dating apps then I had this plan of coming but my plan with you is one two three four that way you will overcome this challenge of white men coming to Africa telling you that I'm coming next month while you're chatting with him this month and then enjoys his stay in Africa with you then when he goes back to his country he blocks you or he ignores you or he just disappear completely on you you will overcome that because if you don't give him the goodies you don't have anything to lose but if you give him the goodies guys as a lady giving your body to a man and then this man just disappear on you while your plans was to get married to this guy you feel very very disrespected and this can put your self esteem very very low so you guys avoid giving the goodies to these white men that comes to Africa that you don't know anything about number six whenever I do this kind of videos I always get a comment in my comment section Bella what about this why didn't you talk about this so I'm going to repeat <laughs> send me money can be the reason to why a white man can block you disappear on you or ignore you yes my dear beautiful black ladies he will block you and the reason why this guy is going to block you first of all in the dating apps like afro introduction they have warned everyone not to send money to anyone don't send money so that is warning number one so when you start asking money this guy is going to block you immediately he will think you are a scammer number two when you tell him send me money it means that you are irresponsible you can't take care of yourself you can't take care of your life you can't take care of your expenses so you are irresponsible who wants to marry an irresponsible lady no one guys 
I have said it before, no one. Another reason when you tell him send me money, he will block you, is you cheapen yourself. Yes guys, cause asking a man that you have just met online to send you money, you want immediately this guy to take care of you, it means that you are cheapening yourself. And this guy is going to ask himself, how many white men have you asked money? Cause he knows guys, like you guys know that these men don't chat to only one lady, they know also that you don't chat to only them. So he will be like, how many white men have you asked money? So you are a cheap lady, maybe you do online sex so that you can be given money, cheapening yourself. So that one is going to come into his mind. And lastly, why he is going to block you. If you guys like each other, everything is going very, very well. And he plans maybe to invite you or to come for you to take you in Africa all expenses will be on who will be on him guys all expenses will be on him so why use the money that he can save so that you guys can be together and send that money to you so if he continues sending you money when you guys are going to meet because he is supposed to pay for everything <laughs> let's take an example he will come to take you he won't just come and go no there are processes to be done the visa process if you guys are planning to get married there the marriage process so this guy is going to pay for his ticket go and return your ticket pay for the hotel <laughs> for the days he will be there pay for all marriage expenses pay for the all visa expenses guys it's a lot of expenses and all on him so if you are not smart enough to think this way this guy is going to block you because you are not planning the future with him you just say it yes but in real sense if he thinks about it very well you don't want any future with him so if you know that you always ask men money that you meet online you don't know each other very well immediately you start asking money then they block you after showing you much interest you know that that's the reason why so dear beautiful ladies you have been like i am too fat or i am too slim or i am too tall i am too short i am too dark i am too light for a white man to like me, that is why they always disappear on me without fighting. I've given you an answer. And what makes me more happier is that I've given you the solution to overcome this challenge. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are very very good you will learn a lot of things trust me <laughs> comment below what you think about this video i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart don't forget to subscribe please join the family i'll be happy to have you until next video ciao ciao Mwah.